Now, I have an interesting question for you guys. What if we gave the Caterpillar 745C the ability to use almost any upgrade it wanted with almost any large tire option it wanted? Well, that's what this mod creator did when he tweaked the 745C and also added, I believe, he added active suspension as an option as well. Now, it's already huge. It's already much bigger than it was before, but we're going to go ahead and take it into the garage, see what we could do to it, and then take this absolute behemoth out for a test drive. So let's fire it up and see what it's like. Definitely takes off a little bit quicker than before. It feels a little bit more eager now. All right, now let's see. Now, let's go straight to customization and see. We have A16V2000, Westline V16, two different Westline V16s, and a Cat 745. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's got some text that I don't understand. But that's also, that's also a $500,000 engine. What the heck? Oh, my God. Bro, this is literally a half a million dollar engine. Eh... Uh, Let's just use the, the let's use the top of the line uh, Westline V16. Gearbox Special 4 speed, 5 speed, and 8 speed special edition. Let's do that. Now it says that's the fast gearbox. So, well, eh, well, we'll just use that for now because I feel like it'll be a good, a good sort of all-round option. So we've got stock, active soft, active normal, active hard. And then active down for crane, which is interesting. Let's see. Raise the suspension to the driving position before driving off. Uh, to use the crane, lower the suspension to the working position. Interesting. Funny extreme up can be used to cross deep water. Well, be sure to try that out. But I think for now, I'm going to go with active suspension soft. So let's see. Now, we start off with the 71 super wides, but you can do, let's see, 68 double for big crane. A 71 super wide, one, two, oh my god, these are just gigantic versions of different tires from the game anyway, but like, oh god, triples, 71 inch triples, what even is, this is, this makes it like a farm tractor, that's crazy, let's see, 71 is triples, 71 is double, Let's see, soft is average, ultra soft, and then chained tires, and then chained tires soft. Let's use the triples. That's such a weird concept that I've never seen before, but, like, I mean, a apart from on Monster Max, offline strong, special winch for crane. Let's do offline strong. Offline strong seems like it'd be a really good, really good kind of balance for it. We could do a couple different spare wheels. I'm not going to worry about the spare wheels for now. And then we'll do the flat cap snorkel. Or snorkel. I, I don't know why I said snorkel. And then we have a bunch of different crane options. Which the crane options. The fact that we even have the option for a crane on this thing is ridiculous. This is going to be our fuel carrier. But we also have log carriers. Water tank. Which is different. Let's see. Maintainer. Holy cow, there's a lot of distance, actually, between the upgrades and the, um, like, like, the end of the frame and the cab. Saddle high and low. There's a lot. Let's do, you know what? Maintenance frame. This is gonna be the world's craziest maintainer rig. Might as well do a, uh, a light, like, a flasher bar up top. Could put a bumper on it. Don't really want to because I feel like you don't really need to. And then we've, yeah, I mean... Oh my god, we could throw the dachshund inside and we can throw beans in it! Woo! Dude, that's sick. I love the fact that you can do that because, like, it's technically just, a, like, a tweaked version of a stock in-game truck. And so, it lets you... Oh my god! What an over-the-top thing! Raise it up. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I know why that is. Hang on. I'm going to go into the garage, and then I'm going to, let's see, active one. I'll put it to active three, which is active hard, I think. Now, let's raise it up again. It still sags in the back. Huh. Oh, the maintenance frame must just be that heavy. 
which is kind of crazy when you think about it. Back it up. And then back forward again. Dude, this thing is... This thing is off the wall wild. Did it... Dude, it's trying to... It's trying to pick the front tires up in corners. What even is this madness? This is like a combination between a steamroller and a tank in the best way possible. Like, this is wild. This is absolutely wild. Like, I feel like most people, most people would, would look at this thing and be like, what have you done? to the normal Caterpillar 745C. I mean, I'd be like, I don't know, but I'm okay with it. Wow. I mean, let's just take a second to look around this thing from a free camera perspective because look how wild looking that is, especially with these triples. The triples set it off more than anything else. I mean, I don't think that, I mean, yeah, the big tires make it look like, you know, the big singles make it look crazy, but like the triples, I feel like they make it look crazier. Like there's no way that you could have a rig like this and not be all about the fact that it has triple tires. Wow. All right. Now it's, now it's time to get out of free camera and actually drive somewhere. Let's see how you do in terms of actually being used for, you know, off-roading. What's up, Beans? Hey, buddy! Oh, my God. It's wild. It's definitely wild, that's for sure. Dude, I've got it in high, and it's it hasn't slowed down even once yet. I wonder if it'll climb this hill. Since I've got the suspension on lift mode, and the front is fairly high... Diff lock's not on, but I don't think we'll need it. Ooh. Oh, no! If you try to leave it in high, it basically sputters out. Can you give me a climb? Maybe not. Yo! It doesn't actually, like... I guess the Westline B16 doesn't really have enough power to fight against the resistance of these tires going up a hill like that. Pretty wild, though, that, that that's, like, an issue for it. Oh, if it bounces, if it bounces and the axle starts to wrap, it's done. It's absolutely, like, done at that point. Let's repair it real quick, because we did cause it a bit of damage. Now, there is Active 5, which Active 5 is, like, that weird... It said it was the funny suspension. I don't know if... Oh! Oh, dear. Yeah, that's wacky, all right. I wasn't. Oh God! Oh, 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 oh! This has gone wrong. Oh my God! Well, it's okay with mud. That's for sure. I don't think there's anything that it wouldn't be okay with. This is literally for when you need to haul something through the harshest conditions in the world. Literally in the world. God, it rampages through that like it's nobody's business. Oh, it starts to dig, though. There we go. Get everything locked down. That's low plus. And it just goes. This thing is like a freight train through mud. It absolutely just freight trains its way through mud. And why wouldn't it? Look at it. Look at the dang thing. Why wouldn't it freight train its way through mud? There's nothing quite like this out there anywhere. I don't think, at least. Like... If there is something like this out there, somewhere in the world, someone please let me know. Because, oh my god, this is literally the most wild thing I've ever seen in SnowRunner. Add it in. Oh, that'll be perfect, because we have an exact, like, like, we have, we have it in the exact right spot to where I think the trailer will be high enough up off the ground. Maybe. Oh, God. Attach! Catch! Come on! Come on, come back! No, come back! 
Why are you leaving me? Oh no! Every time I go to attach, it's like, uh-uh. There we go, finally, because it hit a freaking tree. All right, back to the bridge now. Back to the bridge now. You are not off the hook, trailer. All right, I'm gonna have to do this from interior view. Let's yeet. Sixth gear. Oh my god, seventh gear. Oh! oh! The truck cleared it. The truck cleared it. It buried the nose in the ground, but, like, it cleared it. And you know what I love? I love how every single barrel is still intact. What? That's, like, a one in a million thing that I don't think I'll ever be able to do again. But if you guys enjoyed this mod test, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. And, of course, I will have the mod linked in the description box down below. Talk to y'all later.